Coach Jimmy here, and so I was just catching a little bit of some cardio time on the old treadmill here in my complex, and I got to thinking about people that come to me and ask, Jimmy, why are you a successful Beachbody coach? Is it because of, you know, that you lost 100 pounds? And that's part of it, but I really feel like I missed a huge opportunity that my business could have been so much bigger that I don't want you to miss out on. The coaching opportunity wasn't around while I was losing weight, right? And I have found the coaches that are really successful, the reason people want to work with them, the pe reason people want to join their challenge groups or even sign up to be coaches on their team is because they aren't the perfect physical specimen. They aren't the nutrition expert. They aren't the fitness guru. Um, they are everyday real people who are sharing their story, good day and bad day, on a consistent daily basis. They're showing what they did in their workouts. They're doing videos of themselves doing their P90X, their T25 Insanity P90X3 that just came out. And just kind of, they're documenting life, right? Not a big sales pitch, but they're just saying, look, this is the journey I've chosen to go on, regardless. I've plugged into a group of coaches that love me and support me, and I'm gonna do this, kind of with or without you, right? That I don't need the rest of my Facebook friend support, or I don't need, um, your permission to go on this journey. Let's put it that way, right? So I don't need your permission to go on this journey. I'm gonna go do this thing. And man, people are watching those people that are consistent and they start seeing this imperfect person putting in the work, seeing results, and they think, ah, dude, if that guy or that girl can get results like that, even in the midst of their messed up life, their busy schedule, their a CEO at a company or they're a busy lawyer or they have a big important job or they have 12 kids and a wife or a husband or whatever. They have this really busy life and they're showing that it's possible to invest some time a day not only to get fit but they're also seeing that you're doing it as a coach and that maybe you're getting your Shakeology for free or maybe you're making an extra 50 to 100 bucks a month to help pay for a, a bill, right? Like if, oh, what kind of testimony is that? Like, hey, I paid my cell phone bill this month because I chose to do P90X or I chose to do Insanity. So my tip to you today is if you're a coach and you're not documenting and sharing your story every day, whether it's your workouts, what you're making food-wise and how you're staying on track with that in your busy schedule, um, why Shakeology has done such an amazing job for you in your life, you're missing a huge opportunity. And maybe you've gotten your own way. You're like, well, Jimmy, I'm not in a good enough shape to, to share yet, or I need to lose five more pounds or 10 more pounds or 50 more pounds before I can start sharing because who's gonna want me as their coach if I don't look like Tony Horton or Shanti? No, people will want you as their coach because you don't look like Tony Horton or Shanti or Shalene Johnson because they're gonna relate with you more. And if I had to do this all over again, I wish the coaching opportunity would have existed while I was losing my 100 pounds because I had people constantly asking me what I was doing in the midst of it. Not as the finished product, right? Not now, where people meet me now and, and, and I get, oh, I didn't know you were heavy. I got more interest in the middle of it. So if you're a new coach, the number one thing you can be doing right now is committing to a program. Committing to a program and putting yourself through it and document it. Man, I'm doing this on my phone. It could take you three minutes at the end of something to just share your thoughts that day of the program. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Be honest. Hey, I dig this. I didn't like this corny joke. I like this disc. Day three disc wasn't that fine. Man, just let people know they want honest, they want you. So if that's my tip for the day is, number one, before you start going anything about the business or products or anything, just share your story and how it's impacting your life your family, what that weight loss means to you. Maybe the confidence is different. Maybe your energy is different. I don't know, but I can't wait to see how you start sharing and you start blowing things up. This is Coach Jimmy. I'm out.